Hello, my dear students. How are you? I hope everyone is doing very good in these days. Um, today, our lesson is going to be Unit 7, and we're going to cover um, two lessons, one and two. Um, both of them are not really that difficult, and like they have very simple grammatical items to cover. So I decided to merge them together. Now, in the student book, we are going to cover these pages, 80 and 83. In the activity book, uh, 66 and 69. So get your books and let's start our journey. So our objectives today, we're going um, to listen to a conversation and we'll learn how to create questions from the answers. Um, you can find this uh, conversation in your book, but here I'm just going to put the record for it. And uh, we're going um, to use a question tag with verb B. In the next lesson, we're going to learn uh, how to differentiate between never, ever, all, and none, where to put them, uh, what do they mean, and everything related to them with their function. These are all um, coming next. Okay, so um, here in the first lesson, uh, as you can see, the theme of the unit uh, sort of the lesson is your star now, aren't you? Okay, so as you can see in the picture here, I have uh, Mike and he's holding the microphone. This is Jade. Um, she looks surprised and happy and they seem they're on the party, on the stage or something. So let's listen to the recording and try to find out what was going on. Unit 7, Lesson 1, Activity 1. Listen and read. Give me an M. Give me a U. Give me an S. Give me an I. Give me a C. Give me an N. Give me an O. Give me a W. Music now. Hello, everyone. It's time for Star Surprise. And here to tell you all about it is Mike. Thank you, everyone. This evening, you've all voted and chosen the star musician of the festival. And it is, all the way from New Zealand, Jade. Come up here, Jade. We've got a surprise for you. Listen to this. Hello, Jade. Many congratulations, dear. We're all very proud of you. Oh, no. It's my mother, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you can speak to her on the phone again later. Now listen to this. Hi, Jade. Remember me? You're a star now, aren't you? Who's that? It's Rocky, my brother in Auckland. Come back soon, Jade. I miss you. See you soon, Rocky. You're looking forward to seeing Rocky again, aren't you? Sure. There's just one more thing for you to listen to. What was that? I haven't a clue. Really? Only joking. It was my old school band, wasn't it? That's right. That was Jade and the Janglers from four years ago. And now, here's Rob to give you the Festival Star Prize. And the prize is a CD of all the festival music, signed by all the musicians. A souvenir of music now. Okay. So after um, listening to it, you can read it also in your book. Um, so here they provide us with the answers, the first activity of this lesson. They gave us the answers and we need to create the question. So the first one, Jade is, we're going to choose who. So we'll say, who is the star musician of the festival? It was um, Jade. Number two, Jade's mother. What did you, Jade's mother do? Who is the first voice? Number two, uh, sorry, number three, she says they were all very proud of her. What did she say? Number four, his name is Rocky. What? We're going to use what to make a question. 
what is Jade's brother name? Okay, we cannot say um, who's Rocky or whatever. We need to use what because what is asking about a thing and here we're asking about his name. Number five, he said he was missing her. What did he say? Number six, they were called Jade and the Junglers. What were Jade's old school band called? Okay, so write down these answers. Now, let's, uh, let's shift to um, the main um, topic, grammatical topic of this lesson. It's question tag with verb be. Now, if I have any sentence, be here means is, are, am, was, where, okay? It doesn't mean I'm using be itself. So if I have my sentence positive, like you are a student here, okay, I put a comma, and these, I flip them. I say, are you? And then I check here. If it's positive, this is, should be negative. If this negative, this should be positive. So let's see here. The sentence positive, the tag is negative. The question, uh, the, sorry, the sentence is negative, the tag positive. So just like um, the um, two sides of the magnet, okay, one is positive, one is negative, it's the same here. Okay, um, you are a student, aren't you? Here we need to choose a subject pronoun comes after the auxiliary, okay? So here it comes before and the tag question comes after. And here when I have Mary is not a teacher, the most important thing is the comma. Now I'll use the auxiliary and then the pronoun, but this time, if I have a name here, a clear noun, here it should be a pronoun. If I say um, the students, here should be they. Mary, she, Ali, he, okay? So we have to use um, a pronoun. As you can see here, it's negative. The tag questions should be uh, uh, positive, which is uh, totally the opposite. Now let's take more um, examples. She's working, isn't she? It means like when you're hesitating, when you're not sure about this information, so you um, ask with uh, that question and the answer is going to be a short answer. Either yes, she is, or no, she's not. She's not working. See, here it's negative. Now the tech question should be positive. Is she? You were late, weren't you? Look here, I have a, a clear um, noun here. Ibrahim was hungry, wasn't he? Here should be uh, a pronoun. They are studying, I went to they. Okay, now let's practice it. Get your activity book, page 66. Um, as you can see here, I have these sentences. Let's check the first one. It's my mother, isn't it? Okay, I don't say isn't she because you can tell him, yes, he's talking about my mother. No, we're going to just focus on the subject. Here I use it, so it should be the same in the question tab. Number two, you're ready now, aren't you? We're looking forward to the surprise, aren't we? The prize is a city, isn't it? So here the prize, it. Jade from New Zealand, isn't she? Okay, so I don't use um, Jade, I say she. Okay, we have another activity to practice that. Um, let's read number one. The music was, uh, was Jade and the Junglers, wasn't it? We're talking about the music. Jade's concert was on Tuesday, wasn't it? Okay, so Jade's concert, not Jade only, her concert, which is it was. We um, flip them, it becomes wasn't it. Number three, Dave and the numbers, okay, they were on Wednesday, weren't they? Number four, Dana's song, okay, it, Dana's song was called We Can Make Music Together, wasn't it? Be careful, guys, when you see um, here, like you're gonna see Dana and you're gonna write he immediately. No, we're saying Dana's song, Dave and the numbers, they. 
Jade's concert it. So like, um, be patient and read the sentence carefully. Number five, Rosanna was also on Tuesday. Okay, so we say, wasn't she? Okay, we have another exercise to practice that. Now here, uh, as you can see, I have words. We need to unscramble them to make full sentences. Number one, it's her mother, isn't it? Number two, she was in school band four years ago, wasn't she? The CD of music now is a great souvenir, isn't it? The musicians were all at the party, weren't they? Okay, now we're done with the first lesson. Let's shift to the second lesson. Now, the second lesson, we're going um, to learn present perfects like a review for before, with ever and never, and uh, we're going to, uh, to study all and none. Okay, so um, let's listen to the first record and let's see what was going on here. Okay, so this first record you can find it written in your book. Well, the second one here, I have an activity like a sentence and we have more than one choice. I already did it for you. But let's listen to the record and match uh, our answers with the uh, record. So as you can notice, this um, activity is expressing this picture. Here I have Emma, and this is um, the picture of the island she was talking about. And here are the people who are going to participate in this competition. Okay. Now in this lesson, we're going to use ever and never. Firstly, let's focus on ever. Um, we use it with the present perfect tense. What do we mean by present perfect is the use of he, uh, sorry, of has or have plus past participle. Has with he, she, it, have with I, we, you, they. We already studied in the previous videos, so you can go back to them and check them again. Uh, usually ever is used to ask a question about an experience in someone's life. So have you experienced this? Have you did that in your life? Okay, let's check here the examples. Have you ever taken dance classes? Yes, I have. I took six weeks of lessons before my wedding. Has your brother ever been to India? No, he has not. So ever usually comes with a question. Now, never 
It's also in the present perfect tense. It talks about things you have not done at any time of your life. I've never failed a test. He's never heard of Michael Jackson. So as you can notice, both of them, the position of them is just like ready and just. These all are adverbs used with present perfect between have, has, and the main verb. As you can see here, have you ever taken? So also before the verb. Okay, so pay attention to the um, position of them. We cannot say uh, he has, he never has heard or he has heard never. No, he has never heard. Imagine never comes as like not. Okay. He hasn't heard of Michael. It gives the same, almost the same meaning. But here it shows like you never did that. None, like um, at any time of your life. Okay, now we're going to uh, practice them in, in the activity book, page 68. The first activity here, they specified already for us, we're going to use never. So Rob and Jade were talking to each other. Let's see what they were talking about. Do you enjoy traveling with Cascade? Yes, it's wonderful. We're going to Spain after the festival. I've never visited Spain. Then we're going to Greece. He said, I've never seen the Acropolis. Then we're flying to Australia. I've never gone on a long flight. So as you can see, the verb here they gave us between two brackets, we need to put it in this uh, way. I have or I've never gone. I've never seen. The verb should be past participle. Um, Jade here said, in Australia, we're going to go scuba diving. I've never tried scuba diving. And then we're going to Brazil. We're going to do, um, we're going to a samba school. I've never learned to dance the samba. You haven't done anything, okay? So here he showed the stuff that he have never tried them all his life. Now in the next um, activity, we're going to make questions. Here they said write a question. So it's a clear we need to use ever. So here they gave us just the verb, be on TV. Have you ever been? Be is my verb here. So the past participle of it is been. Have you ever been on TV? No, I've never been on TV. Or you can say, yes, I have. Now the answer is up to you. Visit London. Have you ever visited London? No, I've never visited London. Have you ever visited Loch Ness? Yes, I have. Have you ever read, uh, sorry, have you ever read? as Sherlock Holmes book. No, I've never read his book. Have you ever met a film star? Yes, I have. Now the answer is, is up to you. You can write yes, you can write no, as long as they're grammatically correct. Now the difference between using none and all, they are used at the beginning of the sentence. The groups have all gone. As you can see, all the position is between the auxiliary and the main verb. Or they all talk to her, or before the main verb. So in both ways, they are before the main verb. If I have an auxiliary, they're going to be between. No auxiliary is going to be normally before the verb. None of them was happy. So all gives the plural meaning that everyone was participating. None of them gives meaning of no one did such a thing. Okay, let's um, practice that in this exercise. And next page, everyone has finished their meal. They've all, so when we say everyone, it means they all have, because of has here, um, we use it with everyone, but when we say they, it should be have. They have all, finish their meal. As you can see all, it's between have and the main verb. No one wants any coffee. None of them wants any coffee.
So, um, everyone wants to pay for the meal. Everyone wants. We say, they all want. So here I put S because I have um, everyone, while here they all want. I have they, so I remove the S to pay for the meal. No one has enough money. None of them has enough money. Rob is in the restaurant and lets them some money. Everyone thanks Rob. We say, they all thank Rob. So as you can say, all gives positive meaning. None of them gives a negative meaning, almost negative. Yeah, no one did anything. Number six, no one can decide what to do next. None of them can decide what to do next. Everyone, it becomes they all. Now this is the S removed because it becomes a plural. They all want to do something different. Soon it's too late to do anything. So everyone goes back to the village. They all go back to the village. Okay, uh, by the end of our lesson, I'm going to give you a homework. Um, it's like really um, simple, don't be worry about it. Page 67, here you're going to practice how to make a question tag and you have, um, like as usual, a preposition activity, a pronunciation activity. And on page 69 also. Uh, if there is anything not clear, please don't hesitate to text me at any time you like on eSchool. Keep it safe and healthy. Hope to see you soon, guys.